Hi, uh, this is my second day out. Um, I've decided to come somewhere quite remote again. I've come to Weir Gifford, or Weir Gifford, depending on how you pronounce it. Um, this is a community orchard. Um, it's quite peaceful today. There's nobody here. It's right down by the water. I'll, I'm going to have a walk around and try and find something that I think would make a nice composition and then jump in. Today I'm going to try and just do more um, individual brush strokes rather than combining them and uh, sort of slurring all the colours in together because uh, that's what happened to me yesterday so um, that's what my plan is for today um, so uh, let's see how it goes Um, so like I said, we're right down by the river Torridge. This would have been where Taka the Otter swam along. Um, so I'm looking for something along here perhaps. Uh, not too sure just yet, but I think it's going to be something along these lines. Sort of just looking in, peeking into the water a little nice when the sun comes out that puts a nice bit of light shade on the grass possibly something like that hmm I have to admit I really like this tree here it's, it is right next to this sort of uh, I don't know what that is water uh, filtration plant or something uh, right next to this little uh, building here which isn't great but this tree is is pretty lush I like that. The problem is I don't get any, if I look at it from back here, I don't get any water in there. And if I come real close, I don't really get the tree in, do I? So, hmm, I guess something along these lines would be quite nice. That's quite, that's quite nice there. I think I'd take out quite a large proportion of the, the branches though, because it's quite messy. Don't know, don't know. I guess what I could do is, is focus on the other side of the bank um, with a little bit of the water in front. That's quite nice. Um, came back a little, I could incorporate incorporate this tree in. Still got the water there, a bit of green across the front, in fact. That's quite nice. I'm liking this. That branch is pretty cool though on that side, so maybe if I switched over. Hmm, I don't get quite so much of the river here. God, it's so tricky just trying to work out. I think what I'll do is I'll get, that's quite nice. I think what I'll do is I'll get my sketchbook out and we'll see where we are. I like that actually, I might get my sketchbook. Okay, so this is, this is quite a complex sketch in that there are layers in behind here. There's the hills and the trees right in the back. Then you've got this sort of line of, uh, sort of another line of fields there and then houses in in this area here and then you've got the grass the green of the field there um, then the bank which is quite trick would be quite tricky and then the river there running across and then in the front here we've got the grass with some daffodils in here and then across the side and over here uh, leaning into this picture is this tree it's a big ask but what the heck, let's go for it. So I've done another quick sketch. <laughs> um, yeah, this, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this, whether I go back to front and build from the back or whether I just try and build in, I think I've got to look at where the dark is. That I guess that I'm gonna to need to block in here on the tr along the tree line. That's, and then the bank at the back with the river, certainly this far side of the river, a little bit of, grass here. I think I just draw it out and then we see where we are on, on the canvas. Let's get set up.
bin bag to make sure that I take all my rubbish home with me. I don't leave anything behind. I'll sit in there. Get my uh, turps. spongy thinner for my brushes clips on the side rubber gloves I've also got in my bag my canvases in my makeshift storage box so um, they've all been given a an undercoat of burnt umber get my canvas put on gonna go landscape raise it up as much as possible today and there we are so for today's colours, I've got titanium white, ultramarine blue, co cobalt blue, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, viridian green. I can never say this one. Alizarin crimson, alizarin crimson, sap green, and uh, a cadmium lemon hue there. So that's my colours. And what's really good is actually yesterday I had some left over and rather than dispose of it I was able to just put it back inside the case and it stays protected and then I can just pretty much get it out and use it again today so I'm not wasting any oils that way so that that's very cool um, here we go so initially I'm just going to uh, wet this small uh, small brush um, take a little bit of the ultramarine blue it's got a little bit of thinner with it as well and I'm going to just sketch out again this uh, image from the bank. So I'd already sketched this twice. So I was. Um, pretty quick with both sketches. And there's the field that just sort of sits in across there. So we've got our um, you know, houses in there. I'm just putting down very quick uh, marks and shapes for a second just to kind of try and get the whole thing in because this is where it gets a little bit interesting because just under that branch is another house but it's on that side so I've gone all the way over there so it's more there it's another house just up there and there's a, it's a slight hill that runs across the top there a little bit of green in it there. Quite a tree up there. I might just get that branch in there. That's quite good. If I get a tree on that side as well, it sort of locks it all in. Um, and then over, right over the back, we've got further in the background, we've got some trees and a bit of green there. And Sort of runs off from there so and then we've got sky so that's it so it looks like yeah um the river the bank the light is on this side here and then we've got the grass that comes out here so that's going to be some green with some daffodils in there so it gets a little bit longer in and amongst the branch here there drawn out amazing a mutton. So that's the image. Um, 
gotta go through there. Um, and like I said, today I'm, I'm kind of going to try and just, just do brush strokes and sort of individual notes rather than slur it all together. But we'll see, because you know, as soon as I start painting, I start slurring. It's it's like a it's like a bad habit or something. But we'll 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 see how this comes out. This could be a real challenge today. That said, before we start. I think it's time for a coffee. One of those days today, feeling, feeling incredibly anxious. Um, so my hands are like shaking like mad. So this will be a really interesting painting, I think. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Hey ho, cheers. Okay, uh, so it's sort of I'm pulling it sort of together um, bit by bit um, at the back. Got to work out that buildings a little bit more, block those in a little bit. I'm not going to go into too much detail with that, um, and then just sort of keep trying to maybe bring this here, tidy this up around this area. Um, the water's okay, and then I'm going to drop in the grass here, and then focus in on the trees and then just sort of put it out <laughs> really interesting a minute ago um a police car just went past and i sort of thought actually i probably i'm meant to be exercising aren't i so i probably need to walk around a bit um gosh um and so i like keep checking now to see if they're going to come back and find me um hopefully they won't uh but so it's going all right um and uh yeah uh, and i'll just keep building into it now um still using a fairly um very big brush and just uh, uh, trying to dab in the different um, different colors in and around the, the, the painting as I go. Uh, okay, so um, I'm, oh Christ, I've kicked the camera. So um, I'm speeding along here now. Um, I'm just putting in, blocking in, and now I'm gonna go in with the lighter uh, houses um, and uh, bring the sky in 
and then I think I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it there for today. Um, that's been a that's been a good sort of hour working, uh, sort of good good hour here, walking around having a look. It's getting a little bit busier down here now, so I'm probably going to just sort of uh, pack up and, and sort of clear out since I've got this done. So um, I reckon another half an hour probably be about right for this one. Uh, so there we are. Um, I think that 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 will pretty much uh, finish for today. Um, not a bad, not a bad effort, I suppose. Um, just kind of put that in a little. Yeah, that was nice. Uh, it was nice and peaceful out here. Um, gave me a chance to. Gave me a chance to get another painting done. Um, again, this one, sort of trying to work with the notes and different bits and pieces. Uh, sort of learning as I go. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm quite happy to leave that one there, to be honest. Um, and uh, try again another day. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. I um, hope you found that interesting. And um, well, I'll pack up and uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks, bye. There we go, all packed up. Uh, painting number two done. Um, that was cool. 
that's, uh, yeah, that's good. Um, all that's left to do is uh, enjoy my coffee and uh, walk back to the car. It's not far, so ideal. Cheers, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this or any of my other videos there are a number of ways you can support me in the future. Like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And now you can even donate on my buy me a coffee page. As you can see from my new videos I love coffee. But your donation will do more than just keep me full of caffeine. Every donation will go straight into buying new art materials for future projects so your help will be truly appreciated. It's easy to use. Simply follow the link and you can donate as little as two pounds to help out. Feel free to leave a comment and there's even a link to my website. Your support really does go a long way to helping me to create more art in the future. Thanks.